Do you know the signs of a woman ovulating? Ovulation, a pivotal part of the menstrual cycle, is when an egg is released from an ovary. It's typically around the midpoint of the cycle, but this can vary. Now, not every woman experiences all signs of ovulation, but there are common indicators that may hint at this biological process. These signs can include changes in cervical mucus, shifts in basal body temperature, and even alterations in mood. It's a complex, fascinating process that plays a crucial role in reproductive health. And while some women may not experience any symptoms at all, others might notice several of these signs. For those trying to conceive, understanding and tracking these ovulation symptoms can be a valuable tool to identify the most fertile window. So are you ready to learn more about the signs of ovulation? Let's delve into the most common indicators of ovulation. One of the earliest signs of ovulation is a change in cervical mucus. This is a substance produced by the cervix, the lower part of the uterus. As we move through our menstrual cycle, the consistency, color, and volume of this mucus can change. Just before ovulation, you may notice that your cervical mucus becomes more abundant. It also becomes thin, clear, and slippery with a texture similar to raw egg whites. Why does this happen? Well, it's all due to the magic of hormones. As estrogen levels rise in the lead up to ovulation, it alters the consistency of the cervical mucus. This change makes the mucus more hospitable to sperm, helping them to survive and move more easily towards the egg. So if you're trying to identify when you're ovulating, paying attention to these changes in your cervical mucus can be a great starting point. So observing the change in cervical mucus is a good start to identify ovulation. Another sign of ovulation is basal body temperature shift. Now, what exactly is this basal body temperature or BBT as it's often referred to? It's simply your body's lowest temperature during a period of rest, typically during sleep. Now, how does this relate to ovulation? Well, after an egg is released from the ovary during ovulation, the hormone progesterone levels in the body rise. This increase in progesterone leads to a slight but noticeable increase in your BBT. This shift in temperature can be a telltale sign that ovulation has occurred. However, to spot this change, you need to be tracking your BBT consistently, preferably daily and at the same time each day using a special thermometer designed for this purpose. By charting these temperatures over time, you'll start to see patterns and can anticipate when ovulation may occur. Tracking your BBT daily can be a helpful tool in predicting ovulation. The cervix also undergoes noticeable changes during ovulation. To understand these changes, let's first get to grips with what the cervix is. It's the lower part of the uterus, acting as a gateway to the womb. Now, throughout your menstrual cycle, the cervix goes through a series of transformations in position and texture. During ovulation, the cervix becomes softer, higher, wetter, and more open than usual. This is quite the opposite of the firm, low, and dry position it holds before and after ovulation. This transition is your body's natural way of preparing for a potential pregnancy, making it easier for sperm to reach the egg. Some women, by inserting a finger into their vagina, may be able to sense these changes themselves, identifying the softer and higher position of the cervix. But remember, everyone is different, and not all women may notice these changes. These cervical changes are another indicator of ovulation. There are several other physical signs that can indicate ovulation. First, let's talk about Mittelschmerz. This German term, which translates to middle pain, refers to a one-sided abdominal or pelvic discomfort that some women experience around the time of ovulation. This sensation is thought to be triggered by the irritation of the ovary that released the egg. It's a sharp, twinge-like feeling that can last anywhere from a few minutes to a couple of hours. Next, we have spotting. Light bleeding or spotting can occur around the time of ovulation due to hormonal fluctuations. Now, don't get this mixed up with a menstrual period. Spotting usually involves a very small amount of blood and it is typically lighter in color than menstrual blood. It's often seen as a pink or brownish discharge. Lastly, let's discuss breast tenderness. This is a common symptom of both ovulation and menstruation. Just before and during ovulation, the body's hormone levels fluctuate. One of these hormones, progesterone, can cause the breasts to feel tender, swollen, 
or slightly painful. It's similar to the sensation some may feel just before their menstrual period, but it's happening mid-cycle instead. It's important to note that these signs are not definitive proof of ovulation, but rather potential indicators. Not every woman will experience these signs, and even those who do may not experience them every cycle. However, if you're trying to conceive, keeping track of these signs can help you identify your most fertile window. Understanding your body's signals can give you a leg up when it comes to planning for a baby. Remember, every woman's body is unique, and ovulation can look different for everyone. What's most important is to listen to your body and seek medical advice if something feels off. These signs, although not experienced by all, can be indicative of ovulation. Ovulation can also lead to certain psychological changes. Let's dive into some of these changes, starting with an increased sex drive. Many women experience a boost in their libido around the time of ovulation. This isn't a coincidence. Nature is quite strategic, you see. This surge in sex drive is thought to be the body's way of maximizing the chances of conception. It's like your body's own subtle way of saying, hey, it's baby-making time. Next, we have heightened senses. Some women report experiencing a heightened sense of smell or taste around ovulation. You might find yourself noticing scents that you wouldn't typically pick up on, or foods might taste more potent than usual. This is likely due to hormonal changes affecting the nervous system. It's fascinating how our bodies can alter our perceptions in this way, isn't it? Last, but certainly not least, are mood changes. Women may experience mood swings or irritability around ovulation. If you've ever felt like your emotions are on a roller coaster and you can't quite pinpoint why, it might be due to ovulation. This is likely due to the hormonal fluctuations that occur during this time of the menstrual cycle. It's as if our bodies are conducting a symphony of hormones, and sometimes the music can get a little intense. But remember, every woman is unique. Not everyone will experience these psychological changes, and that's perfectly normal too. The human body is a complex machine, and there's no one-size-fits-all approach to understanding it. Also, while these signs can provide clues about ovulation, they're not definitive. If you're trying to conceive and keen to identify your most fertile window, it could be beneficial to use an ovulation predictor kit alongside tracking these signs. It's all about gathering as much information as possible to understand your body better. These psychological changes can provide further clues about ovulation. Recognizing these signs of ovulation can be particularly useful for those trying to conceive. To give a quick recap, we've discussed several key indicators that a woman may be ovulating ranging from physical signs to psychological changes. Let's jog our memory a bit. First, we talked about changes in cervical mucus, where it transforms from a thick, cloudy, and sticky texture to a thin, clear, and slippery one, almost like raw egg whites. This change is a direct result of increased estrogen levels during ovulation. Next, we discussed the shift in basal body temperature. This is your body's lowest temperature during sleep, and a slight increase can indicate that ovulation has occurred. This is due to the rise in progesterone levels after ovulation. We also looked at cervical changes where the cervix becomes softer, higher, wetter, and more open than usual. Some women might even be able to feel these changes manually. In addition, we spoke about other physical signs such as Mittelschmerz or the one-sided abdominal or pelvic pain some women experience light spotting, breast tenderness, and even an increased sex drive. All these can be indicators of ovulation. Finally, we touched upon psychological changes, including mood swings, irritability, and even heightened senses, which can all be attributed to the hormonal fluctuations that occur during ovulation. Remember that these signs can vary greatly among women, and some may not experience any symptoms at all. However, being aware of these potential signs can help you better understand your body and your menstrual cycle. For those trying to conceive, tracking these ovulation symptoms can help identify your most fertile window. And if you're finding it difficult to recognize these signs, don't worry, there are ovulation predictor kits available that can help you pinpoint ovulation. By understanding these signs, you can better navigate your menstrual cycle and fertility.